what a fight we have to look forward to. Reminds me of uh, Tyson Fury versus Derek Chisora. That's a great fight. Yeah, two young unbeaten fighters. I like Daniel Dewar. I like Nathan Gorman. I like both their styles. I thank credit to both guys for taking it so early on in their career. Reminds me of uh, Tyson Fury versus Derek Chisora. Chubby guy versus ripped guy. But although Chisora didn't turn up ripped, he turned up quite chubby, actually. So that was kind of funny. But uh, yeah, I just I just see, like, I, I fancy uh, Nathan to, to beat him. He's fighting for his um, mortgage, car tax, fighting for to get a house and to improve himself and whatever he's doing. So I hope he comes through it and I think he'll come through it. He's had a good number of fights as long as he, you know what I mean, takes his time and, you know what I mean, chip him down and it should be victorious at the end of the, the fight. I accepted it because I think we lad we're going to win and um, I think Nathan's got the ability, the speed, the boxing brain, the movement. He will make the boy I miss. I think every, all of us can agree on that. And I think if Nathan comes back with mean intentions, which is what we're working on, I only see it one, one way. It's a tough one to call. I initially says Dubois, but you know what? I've changed my mind. I think Gorman will do it and probably make it on points. I think he's slick, he's good head movement. Dubois is definitely the puncher in the fight. Could win the fight by KO, but I think Gorman, nah, I've changed my mind. I think Gorman will win on points. Nathan Gorman, very cute. Defensively, I really rate him highly. I, I think the winner of this fight will be decided in the first three rounds. I make the white a slight favourite, but he's literally, if I could sit on the fence, I would. That's that boxer you get the punch, isn't it? I see Daniel more often, so I'll probably see Daniel. Very tough prediction. If Daniel doesn't get the job inside six rounds, then I'll go for Gorman after six rounds. I think that size is a big factor in a fight, but this time size is going to play against the wire because. Um, He's a real good inside fighter, Gorman, and he's explosive. And I don't think that Gorman's going to be phased too much how other opponents has because he's been in the ring with him before. So I think that plays a big part in this. Um, so I'm going to go with a late stoppage, Gorman, or points, Gorman. Both prospects fight for British title. Um, going to be a fantastic fight. It's got everyone talking. I'm going with Dubois. Um, just think he's devastating as soon as he gets his opponent hurt, and I think uh, he could win early. So, yeah, Daniel Dubois on this one. Yeah, I fancy Nathan. You know, like I said, he can turn defense into offense, and you know that's the uh, big part of it. You always see people when they're training practicing offense and punching. And how often do you see people practicing defense? But whenever you watch Ricky and Nathan training, they mix defense and offense together, and. I think that could end up being the difference that Nathan's better defensively. The Bois is a young, hungry fire coming through, but you know, you know and Nathan Gorman, he comes from a uh, fighting family. I believe, you know, Nathan could nick it. If he's conditioned for 12 rounds and, and don't let Dan near him, then there's only one winner, it'll be Gorman, but at heavyweight, that's a very, very, very hard ask. So I would probably edge towards the Bois. Their contrasting styles will make this a great fight for the fans. This is going to be one you won't be able to take your eyes off of. It's going to be electric, the atmosphere is going to be electric, it'll be sold out, the place will be buzzing, and we're going to see, I believe, something special.